Welcome to this introduction video of Noise at Work. This video will show the basic functionality of Noise at Work. This functionality is available in all configurations of Noise at Work. First, I start by creating a new project. Then, I select a drawing. A drawing can be a cut file, like a DXF or a DWG file, or an image file, like a GPG or a BMP file. In this case, I'm going to use a CAT file, the demo drawing file. After selecting the file, it is shown at the right hand side. The drawing can be shown in color, or in black and white, and with or without text. Also, all the individual layers of a CAT file can be switched on or off. Left, you see the project bars. They represent the project flow, like project info, drawing, workspaces, measurements, and contours. These five project bars are available in all configurations of Noise at Work. In the drawing, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and you can pen your drawing by using your mouse and the scroll wheel. Next, I'm going to enter the workspaces. A workspace is an area in which people are working and where Noise at Work can show the noise contours. I click on the button New and start clicking on the corners of the workspace. Noise at Work automatically snaps to the background CAT file. This makes the entering of a workspace very easy. I've just entered my first workspace, the factory. I also want to enter the outdoor yard as a workspace, so I click on the button New again and start clicking on the corners of the second workspace, the outdoor yard. Next, I'm going to enter the measurements. The measurements. First, I select a label that I want to see next to my measurement location, and then I click on the button New again. And then I start clicking on the locations where I have been doing my measurements, while looking at the drawing. In this example, there are seven locations inside, and four are locations outside. Noise at Work automatically takes the coordinates from the drawing, so you don't need to bother about coordinates. Noise at Work will handle it for you. Next I'm going to enter the measured noise levels. For instance, 82 at location 1, 84 at location 2, and Noise at Work will automatically show the noise contours based on the entered values. A bit high, let's say 91. Outside, the noise levels will be a little bit lower. 79, 81, to 78. Instead of typing in the noise levels manually, I can also copy and paste the noise levels from Excel. I switch over to Excel, I select the noise levels, Ctrl C, Switch back to Noise at Work, select the first measurement, say Ctrl V, and now I've pasted this column of values into Noise at Work, and automatically my noise contours are shown. Next to the sound pressure level, I can also enter L peak values and octave band values. The coloring is set at the contour step page. Here you can set the classes, the noise classes and the coloring. Also you can select to see your ISO contour lines or your color filled areas. All information of a Noise at Work project can be printed to the printer, where you can select your own logo, where you can select which information you want to print. Also you can print your information to a file, like a PDF file, and some other formats. Also you can export your noise contours as a shape file or as a DXF file. Also you can save your noise contours as a high resolution bitmap. And here you can define your own resolution. This concludes the introduction video of the basic functionality of Noise at Work. Thank you for your attention.